Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Credible Chess. So today, I'm gonna show you a mind-blowing chess trick which will help you win more games. So before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then subscribe right now. Okay, so let's start. So white starts with d4. So guys, this is the queen spawn opening. And black plays uh, knight f6. Now c4. So guys, this is the Indian game. Here there are many options for black. So g6 is the king's Indian defense. And e6 is the east Indian defense. d5 is the martial defense. e5 is the Budapest gambit. There are so many. But one of the most popular defenses and openings here for black is c5. Guys, this is the Benoni defense. It's a very popular opening. So here white has two replies here. Either to capture the pawn or to move to d5. So here, uh, my recommendation is to play the pawn at d5. This is the advanced variation. And if you think that what happens if we capture the c5 pawn, it's free. And guys, uh, black would play e6 and now the bishop is attacking c5 pawn and that's gone. And in this position, my recommendation is to not to defend the c5 pawn and uh, try to have natural development moves like bishop to f4. So here bishop captures the c5 pawn. But here you can see that black is better. He has a center control plus the pieces are developed, king side pieces are developed and you can castle easily. And C white, only one piece is developed, and uh, we don't, uh, we also don't have the uh, center control. So that's why I don't recommend here to capture the pawn and play a D5. From here again, black has many moves, but the most popular move here is B5. This guys is the Benko gambit. And today I'm gonna show you a trap against the Benko gambit. This is a super popular opening at the Grandmaster level. Most of the Grandmasters play this move. Today I'm gonna show you a trap uh, in which you can just trap your opponent. So from here, my recommendation is to capture the b5 pawn. And here black plays a6. So first let me tell you what is the main idea of the Benko Gambit. So the main idea of the Benko Gambit is to sacrifice the a and b pawn and then attack on the a and b files with his rooks and the queen so by sacrificing the pawn he would then attack with his rooks and queens on the b and a file and he would have a very great attacking position so guys from here uh, there are two replies again you can capture the pawn capturing the pawn would not be that nice because black would easily capture and then attack on the b and a files Again, if you think of b6, then queen would easily capture it and it would be a nice position for black because his pieces are more developed than us. So from here, the best move for white is knight to c3, defending the b5 pawn. From here, the natural move from uh, black is to capture the b5 pawn. So guys, from here, we are going to play a small sneaky trap. We are not going to capture the b5 pawn, but instead, we are going to play e4 so now we can see that we are attacking the b5 pawn with our knight and also with the bishop but what's the main idea of e4 main idea is to uh, to get up on, on e5 and then attack on the knight but guys here black would be happy and he should be because black should black would easily play here b4 attacking the knight and as the knight moves the black knight at f6 would capture a e4 pawn so this is a trouble for white so what is gonna white do guys here i have a very sneaky trap so in this position best move here for the knight is knight to b5 and if black captures the pawn then he's gone just wait and watch from here white is gonna play a stunning move queen to e2 attacking the knight and it doesn't matter where knight goes let's take Knight to f6. From here, black is checkmated in 1. He is mate in 1. 
knight to d6 is a small other checkmate so guys you can see there's there is a pin so the e7 pawn cannot capture the uh, d6 knight and you can see that king has no legal moves and the king is checkmated and checkmated because he's blocked with his own pieces but wait what happens if knight doesn't move and play f5 so guys here we are gonna play f3 so if knight moves again it would be a, if knight moves it would be a checkmate but if you think that uh, let me show you but if you think that the king has a uh, escaping square on f7 that no knight to d6 is a checkmate again because the knight is controlling the f7 square so from here the knight can't move and now black has to give up his knight so black would play uh, g6 now white captures the e4 knight black captures and now king captures again from here uh, queen uh, knight to d6 is a checkmate threat so but so here yeah, black should play e6 or something like bishop to g7 making some space for the black king so but you can see in this position also white is in an awesome position because he's a piece up so guys and plus the pieces are more developed than black and see the black's position no pieces developed and uh, the pawn structure is too bad so guys i hope you like the benko gambit trap and like the video subscribe to my channel and comment down below what type of videos you all want and stay tuned for more awesome videos and keep watching Quadible Chess.